Hi, I'm Matt from Bicycle Motorworks. Hi, I'm Sophia from Bicycle Motorworks. And you've probably heard about the new Molly Cell P50B cell. What's the hype? So we commissioned Mooch to do a shootout between the new Molly Cell P50B cell and the well-known Samsung 50S. But who's Mooch? Mooch is a very well-known, well-respected tester of all things lithium ion. Are we done? Okay. I invite you to follow him at the end of this video. So it's a really exciting time for this generation of lithium ion cells. We're eager to share our findings and talk about the balance of high capacity, high current. Uh, we're going to compare well-known Samsung 50S, Molly Cell P45B, the upcoming brand Ampace JP40, and the brand new Molly Cell P50B. It's all detailed in the it's all detailed in this video called the Molly Cell P50 Explained. So what are the top performers, Dad? Well, we have the new Molly Cell P50B, which is five amp hours, and it could put out 60 amps continuous current. Also is the Ampace JP40, which is four amp hours. It can put... Uh, also, the Ampace JP40 which is four amp hours, it can pulse at 140 amps and the continuous is at least 60 amps. So what's all this talk about the Molly Cell P50B? Can you tell me more? Sure can. You gonna take notes? Yes. All right, uh, feature number one, it's super low internal resistance. This means higher current and less heat. Heat is the single biggest enemy of lithium ion cells. It leads to chemical reactions inside that degrade the cells faster and leads to a shorter lifespan, meaning less cycles. Feature number two. That is longer cycle life. Uh, not to get too technical, but the P50B's anode, which is the negative part of the cell, uses an advanced silicone carbon composite. And what this means is it significantly enhances the battery longevity, nearly doubling the cycle life from about 700 cycles to 1400 cycles. And our final feature, feature number three. That is cold weather performance. Uh, Molly cells made an astonishing improvements in its cell formula. They developed a low temperature electrolyte formula. And what that means is the electrolyte is the liquid inside these batteries. It's made of a solvent and lithium salt. Its role is to transport positive lithium ions between the cathode and anode of the cell, the negative and positive part. In cold weather, most liquids will thicken up or freeze. And that has been typical of the standard electrolyte used. So in cold weather, your range is significantly decreased because the ions are moving slowly and decreases range, decreases current. They have tweaked it to, well, remain viscous, very thin in cold weather. And it's a great performer, gives you a lot more range than anything else in sub-freezing weather. So that's a big advantage of these cells. But wait, we almost forgot about the graphs, but thankfully I have them right here. So let's look at the graphs. These are the results of testing brand new uh, Samsung 50S and a Molly Cell P50B. They were tested from 4.2 volts down to three volts, which is the same us usable voltage that we're accustomed to with our e-bike batteries. First graph under 20 amp continuous discharge shows they both perform about the same as far as So the first graph, 20 amp discharge shows that they perform, they have about the same energy. But the big difference is temperature and voltage sag. The Molly Cell P50B, the maximum temperature was 54 degrees Celsius, which is 129 degrees Fahrenheit. 
the Samsung 50S got up to 73 Celsius, which is 163 degrees Fahrenheit. Notice the voltage sag, the blue line is a lot lower. That means it ran at a much lower voltage than the Molly cell, which means on your bike, you're going to use less throttle with the Molly cell to achieve the same speed, which actually equals an increased range. And what about the other graph? Well, the other graph is an abuse test of 30 amps continuous. And that's where the big difference comes in. First of all, the temperature of the Samsung at 30 amps got up to 203 degrees Fahrenheit. That's just a few degrees from boiling water. Uh, 95 degrees Celsius, which is well beyond the safe limit of about 80 degrees Celsius for any cell. The Molly cell got up to 69 degrees Celsius, 156 degrees Fahrenheit, which is still warm, but you know, that's a complete abuse test from fully charged to three volts, uh, which is not normal uh, operation for an e-bike, but we wanted to see how they perform. So it gave us longer runtime, which means more capacity at this current and much cooler uh, you'll use less throttle to achieve the same speed as the Samsung 50S. So that combined with cold weather performance makes for a much better performing e-bike if you have a high current motor. Wow, Dad, I learned a lot. I'm going to link these graphs in this video so you guys can look at them later. So we are proud to bring you the Molly Cell P50B collection of batteries at Bicycle Motor Works. These cells offer long range and very high current. They are built with pure copper bus bars, just like we use in all of our packs. They deliver up to twice the cycle life, which means your battery will last twice as long. They are excellent cold weather performers at freezing or sub freezing temperatures. We at Bicycle Motorworks want to thank you for loving electric bikes and for supporting small U.S. businesses. And that's a wrap. Dork. <laughs>